Good morning and welcome to another Thursday's Thought for the Day. This morning I thought I'd reflect upon the Benedictus, which we read in the morning prayer every day. So the Benedictus is a canticle used in the Anglican Church and a canticle is just a song or a hymn which uses scripture as its lyrics. And Benedictus is Latin for blessed. And this was written by Zechariah um, and was sung at the time of his son John the Baptist at his circumcision and his naming ceremony. And this is a song of two halves. The first half is one of thanksgiving and praise to God. And the second half is um, spoken directly to his son John the Baptist and is a prophecy about what his future might look like and what he has been called to be and how he's been called to serve. So let's read this Benedictus. It's um, from Luke chapter 1 verses 68 to 79. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, because he has come to his people and redeemed them. He has raised up a horn of salvation to us in the house of his servant David. As he said through his holy prophets long ago. Salvation from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us. To show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. The oath he swore to our father Abraham to rescue us from the hand of our enemies and to enable us to serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. And you, my child, will be called a prophet of the Most High, for you will go on before the Lord to prepare the way for him, to give his people the knowledge of salvation through the forgiveness of of their sins because of the tender mercy of our God by which the rising sun will come up to us from heaven to shine on those living in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the path of peace so I was reflecting what a fantastic song or poem this is for us for our daily walk with God and of course that's why it's in the morning prayer each morning. So the Benedictus starts by praising God joyfully and giving thanks for all the blessings which we have received. It's thanks to God that he has sent a saviour to us to redeem us um, so that we can have a personal relationship with God through Jesus. And of course, this is a promise which God has fulfilled, a promise or a covenant from many years ago, um, first spoken to Abraham. So this really is an amazing passage of thanksgiving for blessings. Do we give enough thanks to God for our blessings? And the second part of the Benedictus was a prophecy spoken by Zechariah um, for his newborn baby, John the Baptist. Um, saying that John the Baptist would become a prophet, that he would go before Jesus to prepare the way for him, to point people towards Jesus so that more people would come to know Jesus as their saviour. Isn't this what we're all called to do? Preparing the way for Jesus. So in Jesus's great commission to us, to all of us, at the end of Matthew's Gospel, Jesus says, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now, we can prepare the way for Jesus amongst those who we know by perhaps praying for them. People that we know who don't yet know Jesus. We can pray for them. We can pray for opportunities to share our faith with them. And of course, always be prepared to share our faith and to share what we're up to um, at church as our walk with Jesus. And this will help point people towards Jesus. Now, of course, the job of the Holy Spirit and of Jesus is to do the conviction, um, to do the healing and the transformation. We are called, um, our role is to prepare the way for this to happen. So even if we perhaps don't pray the Benedictus every morning, let's make it um, part of our regular morning routine 
um, and I'm sure many of us already do, to give thanks to God for all our blessings, whether they're big blessings or small blessings, and to pray daily that he will guide and direct us as we seek to prepare the way for Jesus in the lives of those people around us who don't yet know him. Amen and have a great rest of your day.